What's up guys? This is Open Source Fiend and today I'm going to show you how to get FFmpeg on your path in Windows. So what the hell does that even mean? Well, uh, whenever you type something into the terminal, uh, Windows or if you're on Linux, Linux has to know where to look for it. So um, I don't know, let's say I want to open up uh, Internet Explorer. How would I do that from the terminal? Well, let's open up. I guess I can, I guess I should do this from a real Windows terminal, which sucks. <clears throat> All right, so how, let me just give you an example. So here's Explorer. I already know it's there. That opens up your Windows Explorer, like you would expect. Well, maybe you didn't expect that, I don't know. But how would we open up another program? How does Explorer even, how does Windows even know to open up Explorer? If I list the contents of this directory, Explorer is not there. So when I try to tab autocomplete something, Windows knows how to do it. Well, it doesn't know how to tab autocomplete Explorer apparently, even though it knows how to run it. Okay, well, that was a bad example. So how does it know where Explorer is? Uh, I know how to do it on Windows. I don't, or uh, on Linux. I don't know how to do it on Windows. Yeah, there's no witch on Windows. But what I'm here to show you. So here's Node. What I'm here to show you is how to get it so that you can type type ffmpeg in here. Uh, and the point of that is to uh, help you get set up with my normalized media project. So we'll go down to install FFmpeg. Since you're not on Linux, this is this is going to be harder than it needs to be. Uh, so you will need to download FFmpeg and extract it. So let's get FFmpeg first. Uh, I am on a 32-bit version of Windows. Or properties. 32-bit. You are probably on the 64-bit. The reason I'm on a 32-bit is because this is a demo VM from Microsoft. Um, so, anyway, let's get FFmpeg. Oh, right, so make sure you download the proper version. I'm doing 32. You probably want 64. So, here's the 64 one. I'm going to change it to 32. You probably don't need to do that. Wait for it. All right, there we go. All right, so if I go into downloads, uh, I should probably have 7-zip for this. Well, I don't need 7-zip for this. So right-click on it. There should be extract all. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. All right, so let's pause for a minute here. I'm in the downloads folder. That isn't a, that probably isn't somewhere where you want to keep uh, installed programs. Downloads is a pretty, uh, downloads changes a lot. You know, sometimes you come in here, you want to clean it out, you might delete everything. So don't keep your FFmpeg installation in here. Here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to rename this folder to be just FFmpeg. Uh, I hit F2 to get it to change like that. So let's just do FFmpeg. And make sure, oh, nope, not that one. Okay, Windows does things a little differently. We're gonna rename this one FFmpeg. Go in there, okay, that's what I expected to see. So what we need to do, and I, I hit Control N to do that, to make another window. Um, what we need to do is put this somewhere where we're not going to want to delete it. Uh, so not in downloads. So uh, what I don't necessarily recommend this, but uh, a decent place to do that would be in your own home folder. Uh, on window, I don't know how Windows indicates to you what your home folder is. It doesn't really do a good job here, but it's C, users, and then whatever your username is. <clears throat> so I'm going to hit control shift N to create a new folder or you can right click and I'm just going to call this apps. 
All right, and now I'm going to drag FFmpeg into apps, and there we go. So apps, FFmpeg, and then bin. Cool. So I can cl I'm going to clean up my downloads folder now. Well, maybe I want to save the zip file. Who knows? Maybe I'll need that later. Get rid of this. All right. So all we've done so far is extract FFmpeg and put it into a reasonable folder. So let's go back to the instructions. So we did that. Here are some decent instructions to get it on your path. So let's check this out. I didn't write these. Download a static build from here. Let's just make sure that that's what we did. Yep, we already got that. Use 7-zip to unpack it. Yeah, I, I do recommend 7-zip, even though I didn't do it for this uh, tutorial. Open a command prompt with administrator rights. Note, use CMD, do not use PowerShell. So what they mean by that is when you type in CMD, you get CMD. But there's also another terminal that, I don't know, I guess Windows or Microsoft is trying to use. I really don't know. Uh, something called PowerShell. So they tell us not to use that, so we're not going to use it. Uh, they also tell us to open a command prompt with administrator rights, which we did not do here. So let's do that. So type in CMD. Now I'm going to right click this and click run as administrator. Click yes. All right, so now I'm in as an administrator. Uh, run the command set x dash m pa or slash m. God, I don't know what these. Do. Okay, uh, it auto completed, so that means it exists. What does set x do? Creates or modifies environment variables. Hell yeah. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Uh, and then they have a slash capital M. Well, this shows lowercase. All right, well, whatever. Specifies to set the variable in the system environment the default setting is the local environment. Okay, so that is important. That means it's going to persist and it's going to be available everywhere, which is what we want. Uh, so I'm cool with that. So let's say Microsoft says do lowercase m. I'm just going to do lowercase m. Uh, path is the name of the variable, the environment variable. And then we need to reset the path of the environment variable. So uh, I just typed in two double quotes here. What we need to do now is get the path to FFmpeg, which we had, which we set from before. So, okay, yeah, this shows slash bin. All right, let's go back to that. Open up the bin folder. So these are all of the FFmpeg um, programs, I guess. Uh, it doesn't matter. What we need is up here. We need this directory right here. So I'm going to copy that, go back over here, and I need to position my cursor on the second quote to make it insert in between them. Uh, don't hit enter yet. So we're adding our FFmpeg bin, and then this is very important right here. Uh, if we don't do this, then we lose that. I, you probably mess up your windows. Uh, paste okay hopefully that works I'm on a VM so I don't care but you will all right specified value was saved so <clears throat> uh, I don't know if it's gonna work immediately we might have to open a new terminal yeah so let's open a new terminal uh, type in CMD Hey, all right. Now FFmpeg is on the path. Um, and FF probe should be there. Not that we're using that. Cool. All right. So uh, the other requirements, if you're coming here for uh, 
for setting up normalized media. The other requirements, which are Node and MKV Tool Nix, they should, their installers should put their executables on the path for you. FFmpeg is the only one that doesn't have a, an installer. So, um, yeah, that should be it. So that's how you get FFmpeg on your path to make it easier to work with. Uh, yep, I hope this helps you guys.